Now we're going to look at displaying vector data, so go out of that layout view into data view. And we're going to start unticking the island, the location, and we want CG Admin 2 instead of CG Admin 0. I'm going to keep the roads. Go down to properties, CG Admin 2, and into symbology. We want to go to categories and unique values. and we want name 2 in the value field we're going to untick the box underneath symbol and add all values then we're going to change name 2 to territory apply that so now we can see all of the different places and they're colour coded just zoom out to show you that At the moment we've got just the roads and the trails showing. Go back into our layout view and there's still the symbols left over from the last exercise. But in our legend we only have the roads. Okay, we're going to go to properties and roads. to general and we're back at the box where we can remove or insert what we want in the legend so we want Fiji admin 2 uh, accidentally inserted everything there so you can undo that okay so we just want roads and admin 2 so there's our new legend showing all of the names of the places and their colours. Fit that in nicely. Go back to properties. We need to go to layer properties and in the general we can change the layer name there or we can do it like the way I did it before. We just want the territory to show for the title. And then you can take time to make sure it looks good. And this is how we export. So go to export map. You'll save it in your file and you want to export wherever you want to save it and you want to save it as a TIFF file and then we just need to make sure we save as we go